Welcome today to one of my most favorite modules. This module is about geography and the geography data types in SQL Server. The geography data types in SQL Server take a longitude and a latitude and it can be used to calculate distances between two points. Let's get the longitude and latitude for a couple of our favorite locations. The first will be the Taj Mahal in India. So I type Taj Mahal longitude and I get the longitude and latitude for the Taj Mahal. Now, if the longitude is north, it's a positive number. If the latitude is east, it's also a positive number. Let's type in Logan, Utah longitude and we see that it's 41.7370 degrees north so that'll be a positive number and 111.8338 west that'll be a negative number it's west of Greenwich England so that's the zero point everything west is negative everything east is positive all the way to 180 degrees we have our coordinates now and we pasted them into SQL Server. However, SQL Server won't like north and east, north and west. So we will have those be positive and negative numbers. So here we have the Taj Mahal and Logan. The next step is to declare a variable of type geography. So we declare at TM to be of type geography. Then we set that variable equal to the Taj Mahal. So we have to say at TM is equal to geography, it takes a point, and that's going to be the latitude and the longitude. And this last number here, that's the encoding scheme that we'll use here in SQL Server, and it makes note of the fact that the Earth is round, and that the distance that we'll calculate will be in meters. So let's do the same thing to Logan, Utah. And instead of TM, let's do LO. Okay, so that's declared of type geography. Then we'll set at LO. Equal to geography. To a point. Now let's calculate the distance from the Taj Mahal to Logan, Utah. So it's a select at TM and we will use the ST distance method. from at TM to at LO. We want our distance calculated in miles, so we'll have to divide it by the conversion factor. And there's 1609.344 meters in a mile. 
So we'll say from Taj Mahal to Logan, Utah. And let's see if we can calculate a distance here. We'll notice here in the results area, it says Taj Mahal to Logan, Utah, little more than 7,600 miles. Let's extend our example to seven exciting locations. First, Logan, Utah. Second, Kumasi in Ghana, West Africa. Next is Palace of Versailles in France. Next is Taj Mahal, India. Followed by the Winter Palace at St. Petersburg. The Cristo Redentor statue in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. And Surfer's Paradise, Gold Coast, Australia. Here are each of those locations with their longitude and latitude in SQL Server. If we set each of those locations equal to a type geography and specify the point, then we can calculate distance between each of these locations. So here's Logan, Utah. Here's Kumasi. Here's Palace of Versailles. Here's the Taj Mahal. Here's the Winter Palace at St. Petersburg. Here is the Cristo Redentor statue in Brazil. And the Gold Coast Surfer's Paradise in Australia. So let's have fun and see distances to locations. And here are my statements that do that. Here is Kumasi to Logan, Palace of Versailles to Logan, Taj Mahal to Logan, Winter Palace St. Petersburg to Logan, Utah, the Cristo Redentor Brazil to Logan, Surfer's Paradise, Gold Coast Australia to Logan, and a Cristo Redentor statue in Brazil. I execute those declarations and then calculations and here is Kumasi Ghana to Logan followed by Palace of Versailles to Logan Taj Mahal 7647 miles the Winter Palace in St. Petersburg to Logan 5,104 miles. The Cristo Redentor Brazil to Logan, 6,244 miles. Surfer's Paradise Australia to Logan, 7,700 miles. And for fun, we did the Cristo Redentor statue in Brazil to the Winter Palace at St. Petersburg. That's 7,031 miles.